Today, we'll take you through three Florida townhomes. The first one's exciting because it has four bedrooms. The second one, it's brand new. And the third one has some pretty exciting amenities. Let's go. As of right now, the market is kind of weird. The inventory has been dropping still yet. We're at about 8.8 .8 weeks, but it seems like they are on the uptick at the moment. So I guess we'll see what happens in the coming months. If you're looking for an outstanding Florida realtor, check out the link pinned to the comments and in the description. We partner with Home & Money to get you a vetted great realtor in your area. So this first one, we're very much in a townhome community. You got a cool little entryway area here, kind of like a patio, lots of tables and pretty well shaded when the sun's hitting it the right way anyways. This is a four bed, three bath town home, 1,950 square feet, which is pretty big for a townhouse. Very big, I would say. It's listed at three or $9,000, which again, that's I feel like a, a pretty good price for the Orlando area and for the size of this home. Pretty nice open concept going. The HOA fee is $242 a month and it does have a few amenities got some nice lighting here up in the tray area that's cool there's a clubhouse a fitness center a pool and you also um, get sidewalks and maintenance grounds jacuzzi hot tub thing there that's sweet whirlpool pretty big bathroom walk-in shower you also have another guest bathroom down here half bath and then in the back here, it's kind of interesting, you have another little patio area. So that's nice to have kind of two. And this community does allow short-term rentals. So you can rent this townhouse for one to seven days. So that's pretty cool. And you are very close to all the amenities in Orlando, such as theme parks, um, Legoland. It's just down the road as well. It's a pretty nice big bedroom. Ooh, here's a nice little surprise. Oh, this I'm a, is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these balconies with there. the wavy gate. Balcony. Very cool. So this could almost be treated as a master in a way too, because you yeah. got a bathroom right here too. I think, yeah, this could be the master. Pretty big closet. And yeah, you got your tub up here too and a walk-in shower. So you kind of get two masters out of this house. I mean, they really got it all here you got four bedrooms lots of space good location you can short-term rental it plenty of bathrooms the only thing i would say that i'm noticing that you know for someone that's watching this video might say is yeah i could use some updating you know the carpet looks a little older oh. i would say it's pretty moving ready though washer yeah. and dryer here or if you're looking for an investment it's ready or being rented out. Yeah, absolutely. So like for someone that has a family looking to rent and go to the theme parks, it's primed for that. Or if you have your own family that you want to bring, it's primed for that. I mean, for a townhome, you can't really beat the size on this place. Yeah, this is very impressive. Let's go to townhouse number two. Welcome to house number two. This is a nice new neighborhood, extremely new. Yes. In fact, it's so new, you can't tell watching, but it smells new. <laughs> you can smell the carpet and the paint. Right away when you walk in, garage to the left. Apologize in advance. The electricity's not on, which tells you just how new it is. We were not aware of that, but it's still, there's a lot of natural light, at least down here and in the kitchen area. Nice kitchen area. And this is a three bed two and a half bath melons on the ground yep there's some right there you can see them on the ground the round things that's kind of fun and this townhome it's listed at three hundred thousand, which it's pretty good price in my opinion got some closet space pantry that's basically your pantry and the bathroom half bath let's take you upstairs and the hoa in this community is 94 dollars. it doesn't obviously include much but they do have a pool pretty big bedroom this must be the master, master or bathroom. the primary. And you can see the orchard from out here yet. And we'll try to give you as good of a shot as we can. Walk-in closet. Again, it's dark, but it is big. It's fully walk-in, that's for sure. Nice color scheme and materials overall. And this is laundry. This is laundry, yep. Awesome. Always nice how they've been doing that in a lot of these newer townhomes. I really some people don't like all the bedrooms being upstairs, but it is nice to have your laundry at least on the same floor and really close. 
Another bedroom. Seems like this is a walk-in closet as well. Nope. Almost. Not quite. Could walk in there if you're small like me. And that must be like your linen. Bathroom number, what is this? Three, I guess? Or Technically two. Yeah, two. The second full. Bedrooms are a little bit smaller, but you can still fit in a queen-size bed in both of them. Let's go to house number three. Townhome number three is in another townhome type community. Very Mediterranean style, got a nice entryway. Bathroom right away on the right. It's gonna be your half bath, oh, and your laundry. This is a three bed, two and a half bath townhouse, 1,457 square feet. It was built in 2006 and it's listed at 309,000. Got your dining room area kind of fit right into the kitchen area if you want to. Little pantry closet there. Semi open to the living room area. Yeah, the pass through window makes it a little bit more open. Oh, I like this too. They almost have like a little office nook making the most of all the square footage here. The HOA fee in this community is $637, and that's because this community is technically a resort-styled community. So you're going to have more amenities than a regular townhouse or condo community. Got a little backyard too, which is nice. And you can also rent it for one to seven days. So short-term rentals are allowed here. And as you can tell, it's a theme with this area, which is nice. So you kind of got like two little dining room areas too, which... There are three of. And all the bedrooms are upstairs. Got a little closet here. Not the biggest bedrooms, but as you can see, I mean, if you can fit these two single beds in here like that, you can sleep a lot of people for, you know, if you got a big family or if you want to put a bigger bed in, you can do that. But then also gives you the option if you Airbnb it to, you know, make a little more of a advantageous situation for people that will want to rent because you can sleep so many heads with all the beds. Pretty nice bathroom. Primary bedroom, it's pretty big. Definitely. A lot more space than the other ones, that's for sure. Got a master bathroom. Not huge. But a lot of times I feel like some of the master bathrooms are really big and they're nice, but you don't really need all that square footage necessarily. Well, it looks like it's got a little closet you can lock in there too. Stuff probably for makes sense if you have an Airbnb for like cleaning supplies and things. If you're looking for an outstanding Florida realtor, make sure to click the link in the description below and we'll put you in contact with a great realtor in your area. Leave a comment and let us know which of the three townhomes was your favorite. And we're gonna be taking you through some more homes and townhomes throughout Florida. Make sure you subscribe to catch those videos. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and if you wanna see some more videos right away, check out this video or this video.